Wales v Georgia, interested. We're here two hours before kickoff. Um, so, what do you reckon then? What do you reckon our lovely score prediction is going to be? Georgia win by 10 points. Of course, you do. Wales, I think, should win this game comfortably. I don't know if they will. Um, it's going to be, I hope it's not a cat fight 15 minutes in, it could be. But I hope they have a quick start. If they have a quick start, then they should easily see the game through. Score predictions, man. What's the score predictions? I reckon 40 13. I say I'm I, go for it. I was thinking position is got George is gonna win, but you should actually use my head. I don't think Georgia can win. What you can remember though is they've got a lot to play for. 45 20, I'm gonna say. They've got a lot to play for. This is sort of their World Cup final. If they win this, they could have a chance of going in uh, the Six Nations. So you never know. But I don't I can't see that happening today. Personally. Jacob, what do you think the scores are gonna be? Um Yeah. Yeah, so if we talk about players then, what have we got to discuss here then? So oh, Liam Williams at uh, fullback today. Just makes sense, doesn't it? It's about time when we saw happen in the, in the what, Lions. What will happen, what, what'll happen is you'll play, you'll play fullback for this game and then he won't play fullback at uh, New Zealand or South Africa. He's just testing about that, it. That's obviously going to happen. We just know that already by Warren Gatlin. Um, but um, I also think it's going to be interesting to see key players back who used to be key to Wales anyway, like... Um, Priestland. Uh, Priestland and Alex Cuthbert. At his on and off period. I think Cuthbert's on his way out. This is probably his last game because if, if Seth Evans is coming in. It, it depends how he does. I mean, this is their chance to shine today. He played, he played well in the summer. If they do well, there's no reason why they can't play for Wales again in more important matches. Like um, um, one of the coaches said, um, if you perform today, you could be played against New Zealand next week. I, I'm worried about uh, the forwards in a way. For, uh, Georgian because, forwards are very strong. Yeah, and I think how we, many caps? It's like really an experience. Like the cap count for Wales, isn't it? Below 20, um, probably. Below 20. So I'm worried about that. But um, that could be the difference in the first I think we're going to get dominated in the scrum. They could, that could frighten Wales. And that's why they could be in the game for a lot longer than they should be. Well, maybe I'll change prediction to 30, 30 20. We win by 10 points. It's going to be another Japan. It's going to be interesting, whatever happens here today. Anyway. So I'm looking forward to it. I'll we'll just skip the kickoff now. <laughs> I thought I invented it, obviously not. Yeah, you can go all the way down. Oh, wow. I know, I might be, you know, you can do a kid. Number four. Konstantin Michal Tatsi. Pim. Adam Beard. Brief wig, our captain. Dan Lidget. Oh, 
Georgia penalty, Georgia number 15, Matthias Willi. Wales 10, Georgia 3. Second half, man. Yeah, well, obviously it's disappointing, a couple of tries disallowed, but um, they're on the right track, I think, right? They do the right things, I think. They're comfortable. Better side in the first half. I know we should be about 20 points up. So. Yeah. But what can you do? I think they're, they're definitely by a far the better side. So we're back at my house after, um, should we say, a 
interesting game of rugby. Oh, it was a poor game then, wasn't it? It was a shocking game of rugby. To <laughs> we brought loads of youth players on and expected to, didn't give Georgia any respect really, and that's the reason why it was such a close game and we could have really drawn the game. Yeah, it was, lost. It was one of the worst game of rugby internationally anywhere that I've ever seen. It's terrible. Yeah, so if we look at predictions. <laughs> Our predictions, yes. 40-13, uh, my prediction was slightly off the 13-6 uh, that it was. What was mine? It was 35 20 or something like that. I can't yeah, remember because I yeah, grew up like that. And I don't think anyone expected Wales to score under 20 points. No. At, le- at least in Japan, we scored 33 points against them. One try in the whole game. Yeah. Arguably, you know, one. we saw a few other tries, but they weren't allowed. So you've got to think. Uh, it kind of got the other way around, really. You've got yeah. lots of experience in there, and then the mainly um, young yeah. side, uncapped. Yeah, and that's what we said. You know, we've got to incorporate these with the big guys, the guys we know that are fully developed. We can't just pull a load of. Youth teams together, a youth team together, which has no depth. You have like you have the youth players, and in, they're not going to really learn if they're just amongst each other. You want to put them with like Alwyn Jones and because Wales Tipperick. need to create consistency, but they don't have consistency because because if you have a team like this, it happened last year at Japan. We see that it goes wrong. So what do you think of the first half, Ben? First off, I thought they started. Wales started the way I want them to start. I thought it was quite a promising. First 20, well, 25 minutes. If you minutes. look at the first 20 minutes, it was all Wales, and you thought, oh, uh, we'll, they, have, we'll have them here. Their attack all. was, I thought the attack was fantastic in the first 20 minutes. Yeah, I have yeah. to say, I thought, best period of the game for Wales, definitely. Yeah, the first first half, you think, oh, we, we won this easy game. Uh, there's so there's so many things. Which Georgia didn't know what was coming out. If you look, if you, even if you looked at any Georgian attack at all, they had nothing in their attack. We very embarrassed if we were even uh, yeah. let a try in by Georgia because there was nothing in their yeah, attack. Yeah, it, it was very basic. It was no, nothing, but what they did have there which proved on further in the second half was their scrum with forwards, which is fantastic. Too well experienced for Wales, who were too inexperienced. They just totally ripped them apart, basically. Uh, we should have really expected this, because what, this is probably one of the, the, the biggest game of the year for Georgia. You know, oh, yeah. Six nations. Never. Um, trying to get the, get into the Six Nations, or it be Seven Nations mm-hmm. if they join. Never, never beaten a Tier 1 team, ever. So, a and, massive and, game for them. And man. tonight. And we don't we don't respect them. We get, put loads of uh, new players on. The, I think most of these players played in the summer tour, which is you know they've only yeah. had two or three caps yeah. in some of them. Yeah. The only uh, only bit of experience that was in, in the uh, forwards, I think, was actually Dan Lydia, who's mm. been out for months with yeah. injury. And then we have Pre- Priestland at ten, who's been out for two years. Uh, Reese Webb at nine, which uh, he's probably not going to play after this season now because yeah. of the new laws. And that's the thing with these things, like, you know, have someone like I was talking about earlier, you have someone like Reese Webb, and why is Reese Webb playing? I understand, yes, he's a fantastic player, he's probably one of the best players on the pitch when he was on. You know, he totally changed the game for Wales. But at the end of the day, likelihood is he's not playing again next season. So why should we play him? If we're trying to develop our game with our scrum up, then what's the point of having yeah, him? It's, unless Wales, Wales or WRU sort of something out with Reese Webb or make an exception, which I really highly doubt will happen. No, I don't think it, they will it, either. If he's, not, if he's not going to be in the World Cup, why are we playing him? Exactly. Same with like Priestland. If he's not going to come back home from Bath, which I doubt he will, Exactly. I, I don't see what's the point of playing him. And it, it, I know he's a form player and he's, he's been really good. Hmm. But if he's if these players aren't going to come back from abroad, or England even, you know, there's no point in playing them really. Yeah. I mean, I guess the whole point of this was to convince players to come back now. But you know, we'll see in the next year which players are playing for us. And, and the worst thing was for me though was that as you went into second half, you know, this this was this had this game had nothing, no momentum, no nothing. You think Wales should go out there? They should be proud. They should be proud of who they are. They should be proud as players. They, they get the chance that they wouldn't normally have. They're playing for Wales. But there was nothing out there. Nothing. Yeah, well, that's, that's where we come on to the second second half is where all the passion seems to go. Yeah, it was complete. Uh, I think the coaching was poor as well because it seemed like we were struggling a bit against Georgia. Mm. And he used to bring some experience on. And he comes, I think, well, I can't remember his name. One of the the only uncapped, actual uncapped player on the bench. Yeah. He brings him on. Uh, proper Wales are struggling. We also decide to... Uh, kick for the corner instead of the posts yeah. uh, twice yeah. when we're only seven points ahead. That was a fickle little throw the whole game, wasn't it? You know, the fact that we kept on kicking for the corner and we could hardly get anything out of it. You know, those early tries disallowed and then we couldn't get anything when we kicked to the corner. No, we, see, we seem to lack creativity in some areas, especially when Reese Webb went off. Mm. He seemed to lack... Um... And that changed the game. But again, like I said, why should we have him playing anyway? Yeah, so it's going to be a big problem at nine is finding an actual... Because I'm not sure if Gareth Davis could actually live up to Reese yeah. Webb. But... Well, they got up Davis for a while, haven't they? Yeah, they so they didn't have a choice, did they? So, 
Do you think this is going to have any impact on the New Zealand game, Ben? New Zealand game, this game, no, nothing. I would, I wouldn't, I wouldn't look at this game at I'd, all and worry about. Do you about think any of the players, week. any of the players, made the name for themselves to play for New Zealand? Uh, next week. Or no. do you think it's going to pretty much no. unchanged from Australia? I think it'll be the the team that we know. To be honest, I don't think there's going to be hardly any changes. Well, I, th- um, I think it's pretty going to be pretty much the Australia. And that's what team I mean. Against yeah, Australia. Yeah. It's, it, I think. Alan Amos played well, I thought. Yeah, yeah, Amos was good. He, obviously, he was. Um, he scored two tries in a row. Now he only uh, he scored the last, last two tries. Well, last two tries, well scored. Yeah, yeah. and he oh, just, just, just disallowed one as well. which would have been a fantastic trick because he ran so far. And that was nothing. The to, nothing, the, nothing to do with him as well. The reason it was disallowed. So yeah, so, yeah. Anyway, awful game from Wales. Hopefully, <laughs> when yeah. we play New Zealand next week, it'll be better. Yeah, who knows? Anyway. Hey? So uh, we'll probably record the South Africa game, Africa game probably, maybe. Yeah, we will. We will record if we want South to. Again. But unless then, see you in the South Africa game. Goodbye. Bye.